So let's simplify that expression. The very first thing is we need to expand this bracket. So we multiply everything inside the bracket by my minus one. So this will be minus x minus three plus x. Now minus x minus x minus x plus x is zero. So this is equal to minus three. That is our response. Another example, example four, we have here x squared plus one squared plus x minus one, all squared. Let me take away this two to make it simple. So let's simplify this expression. The very first thing is we need to expand so this x plus 1 all raised to the power 2 is the same as x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 plus x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. So if we, we now have to expand this bracket, so let's do so in the next slide. So we have here x plus 1 x plus 1 multiply by x plus 1 so how do we expand this this term will multiply this term and will multiply that term so x multiplied by x this will give us x squared. x multiplied by 1. This is just x. Anything multiplied by 1 is itself. This term will multiply this term and will multiply that term. So this will be plus 1 multiplied by x is x. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So this will be x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we have expanded. Expansion is the removal of brackets. Similarly, if we have x minus 1 squared, that is the same as x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. So if we do the expansion, we have x squared minus x minus x plus 1 which is the same as x squared minus 2x plus 1. So if we add um, x squared, sorry, x plus 1 all squared, x plus 1 all squared plus x minus 1 all squared, this is going to be equal to 4x minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 is 0 plus 2 which is the same as 2 bracket x plus 1 and that is our answer in its simplest form that will be our answer in its simplest form Let's keep on keeping on. Um, another example here. We have 2 bracket m plus 4 plus 3 bracket m plus 2. So what do we do? We remove the brackets. We call that expansion. So 2 multiplied by m. This will give us 2m plus 2 multiplied by 4, this is 8, plus 3 multiplied by m, this is 3m, plus 3 multiplied by 2, that gives us 6. Now, we're going to group like terms together. So we have 2m plus 3m, these are like terms. Now we have 8 plus 6. 2 plus 3, that gives us 5m, plus 8 plus 6, that gives us 14. So this is the simplified version. 
Another example that I would love for us to do would be x bracket x plus 4 plus 2 5 minus x. Now um, what we need to do at first is we have to multiply um, out this term. So we are basically removing brackets at this particular instance. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 10 minus 2x. So what do we do? Um, we group like terms together. So x squared is by all by itself plus 4x minus 2x plus 10. So this will be x squared plus 4x minus 2x is 2x, all of this plus 10. This is the simplest form. Now I will later on show you how to factorize or simplify quadratic expressions like the one we have now, um, which is also a very vital part um, in a physics classroom.